Welcome back to Lost and Random, you schmucks. Last time we followed that stinking ghost all the way to Toe Town Square. And we would have kept on following him, but we got stopped by this door. Supposedly it's the door to Three Town, but we're never gonna find out because Dee Dee doesn't have enough frickin' dots to roll a three. Which means we gotta find a way to upgrade him. But before we do, I'd like to shop at Manny Dex. Because there's some cards I really want to get. Oi, Manny, how's it doing? <laughs> I want to get the triplet bombs. We're not going to be able to use it just yet unless we get lucky. But, <laughs> you know what they say. Got to get more bang for your buck. And it gets us a golden pin. This little doohickey is going to allow us to save cards in our hand. So that way they don't go to waste. We only have one of them for right now, but we're going to get so much more. We can also choose between cheat, damage, and defense packs. And considering how useful the cheats are for me already, let's go with the cheats, Manny. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? We got the Blacksmith's Blink. When you're performing a Blink Dodge, your weapon durability does not deplete for a short period. Oh, that's nice. We got two of these, too. Each crystal is worth more. What? Increases the speed of drawing cards. Quick draw. Oh, ho, ho, baby. As good as that is, I think I want to get more of these lucky draws. Because, man, oh, man, are those things useful. And you know what? I'll get another king's hand. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Manny. I'll be back later once I have more coinage. <laughs> Let's check ourselves out that card catalog, eh? We have exactly 15, I think. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I, yeah, I, th I think we have exact... Hold on. Yeah, it's exactly that. I have 15 cards in my deck. Hell, it's not even that I have 15 cards in my deck. I have 15 cards, period. <laughs> that means that any more cards that I get don't get added to my deck. I have to move things around the more I buy. Hey, hey. Manny, I'm going to be buying from you a lot more often. And that's going to be a bit scary. For now, let's ski daddle on forward. There's some schmucks that I could help, but I really don't give a crap. Let's go. <laughs> One of them is right here. Oh, guys, child, yes, you. Come closer. Um, this isn't a dice? What the heck are you talking about? You, child, I believe we can be useful to each other. Um, excuse me, do I know you even a little bit? No, no, I, you. But the threads of fate weave strange fabrics indeed. You see, I've noticed that you have a dice with you. Listen, I keep on telling you, this is not a dice. This is uh, my dog in a costume. Right, a good act, child. You'll need your wits to survive what's coming, I'd wager. So, let's say, hypothetically, you have a dice, which of course you don't. Which means you, hypothetically, have experience in their identification and the true nature. I've heard tell of a dice circulating cellar streams, of course, it's been so long since a true dice has been here. People don't entirely recognize it for what it is. And if these rumors were true, well, I dare say you could be the one to find it. The folks dimly sense it has value. They treat it as something rare and unique. See, a fossil, not knowing its true value. It's true nature. I believe someone like yourself could trade for it. Or at the very least, trade up to it. 
Hypothetically, of course. And if you did hypothetically succeed in possessing such a dice, well, I'd be interested. And I'd make it worth your while. Worth your while, indeed. Worth my while, you say? Hmm. How do I know I can trust you as far as I can throw you? Oh, oh goodness. You can't, child. But you can trade with me. That's all I'm asking. I've told you all I can. All except. Uh, except? Come on, out with it, lady. I don't get all day. Except the diver whispers that someone is buying words and someone else selling them and that would be where I'd start make yourself useful child trade and trade until before you know it you've got your hands on one of those dangerous awful deadly dice hey watch what you're saying and then you give it to me and I will take care of it. What the hell do you plan on doing to... You know what? I'm kind of curious about this. Sell a street? Let's frickin' go. It's a long walk, so I'll see you there. Syzygy. Yeah, thanks for the syzygy. I found the person that's selling words. It's Wordly Wanda. I'm wondering if you'll trade me your rarest word, my good woman. My rarest word? Huh, that's a tall order. Um, what do you have to offer in trade? Um, I have a rare word myself. I'm listening. A word that describes the process of learning itself. It's ab, ad, ad. Darn it, I can't even say the word I'm trying to say. It means enjoyment. How does a small girl like you know an adult word like that? Ah, Herman, an old junker in one town, taught it to me. Adlubescence. Oh, learning it is a pleasure. Adlubescence. The, the essence sound, the mouth feel of adlu. Oh, the rarity of it. Oh, oh this is a word I can definitely sell. Tell you what, I'll give you a great word in exchange to oblectament. Oblectament? What? Close. Oblectament. It means a source of delight. For example, learning adlubescence is an oblectament. Thank you again, kid. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Uh, yeah, thanks. It's been a pleasure working with you too. Bye. Uh, it's <laughs> it's been an obligent doing business with you. Beautiful. Use it well, kid. I got words for sale here. Choice words. Now we have to find someone that's willing to buy obligent. Pluriophile. It means lover of rain. I, <laughs> that's just a free sample. I don't want to know what other words you have for sale, lady. Now we just gotta find someone who's willing to buy a word. And I have no idea. Little Joe over here is trying to get his hands on a gobble Gregor, but I have no idea what a gobble Gregor even is. Hmm, maybe that's something Wanda can help me with? I have no idea. Aha! You there! You big ol' question mark fella! Hey, wait a long face there, friendo! I need inspiration. I'd trade my gobble Gregor for a flash of genius. I'm through Pipkin, by the way. I am an artist, but not with paints or music. My art is the art of trading, and I want to push the art forward. Trading gobble Gregors is so routine. I want to trade something that hasn't been traded before. You wouldn't happen to have anything, would you? I've got a word. I, I'll trade you for something. A word? Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. What's the word? 
The word is oblectimate. <gasps> that is a beautiful word. Oblectimate. I would like some oblectimate, please. <gasps> yes, it is a good word, and that means it has value. Any anything with value, I can trade. Oh, this is going to be great! Now your friend Ian is an honest trader, so let me compensate you for that word by giving you a gobble Gregor in exchange. They're very futuristic. Uh, what is a gobble Gregor anyway? <laughs> Imagine not knowing what a gobble Gregor is. Hilarious. You're all right, kid. Good sense of humor. Here's the gobble Gregor. Just be sure not to use it in full reverse. We all know what happens then. Uh, we sure do. Great, kid. What the hell is this thing going to look like? And we've got... What the hell are you? One could double Greg anything with this baby. One could also trade it in Cellar Street for something valuable. Hey, I was just talking about little Joe. He needs a double Gregor. Wait a minute. Four-sided skull. Four-sided skull! Little Joe is trying to trade the freaking dice for a gobble breaker. We gotta get to Little Joe. Little Joe's up here. Let's freaking go, baby. I'm solving this. I honestly really don't want to know what the freaking guy's going to do with... Uh, I'm not even going to mention it out loud. I just want to get this freaking trading done. Yo, yo, Little Joe, come to me, bro. Let's freaking do this. Let's trade, yo. <laughs> Gregor to me. I'm sure this skull I'm offering is invaluable. It must be. It's darn gold. All right, let's trade, Pally. Thank you. Here, have this uh, fossilized skull, I think. Strangely four-sided. It must have come from some sort of ancient extinct animal. Big Red dug it up a while back before... Uh, forget it, it's not important. But this has got to be the rarest thing in all of Two Town. Thanks, kid. Hey, no problem. And with that, we've got ourselves a dead four-sided dice. We're carrying a dead body. Well, that's... That's certainly something. We are carrying a dead four-sided dice. Um... I'm not sure how I should feel about that, considering who I'm traveling with, but, um, uh, let's, let's just go and get this thing off my hands. I'd rather not be holding a dead body the entire freaking game. Let's just go and do this. Oh my god, the entire act is creeping me out. Here, just freaking take the damn thing! I have a dubious fossilized skull that I think might interest you. Impossible! <laughs> Let me see that. By the card makers themselves, this is a dice. Oh, rather, it was a dice. Yeah, you didn't have a hand in this, did you? Oh, if I had such power, child, I wouldn't be lurking here, talking to strangers. No, no, it wasn't me. The queen destroyed all the dice, child. Well, almost. Oh, oh right, my uh, dog. I want to say thank you, child. It's been so long since I've seen a dice. Even one that's dead like this. That alarms you, doesn't it? Yes, dice can die. We found that out in the No Dice War. The, the No Dice War? It was a catastrophe. The Queen, child, decided that she should be the only one to wield a dice. And so... She waged war on them, and on those who'd wield them, and she did not show mercy in victory. If, when she finds out there's still a dice, and still a wielder, 
Well, she will be apoplectic, and she is not to be toyed with. What happened here, she'll do to you and your friend here. Uh... It's not a threat, little one. It's an observation gleaned from hard-earned experience. Hypothetically speaking, that is. But don't worry, your secret is safe with me. As for this poor dice, I'm going to return it to where it belongs, to the sacred valley of the dice. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 you've been there? I have. It used to be so different. There are some of us who remember the old ways, child. We must stay hidden and we must stay silent. But we exist. The valley is hidden far below random and far from the queen's prying eyes. It's a crypt. A land of the dead, forbidden to all but a few who remember. I'd wager you don't fully know what you travel with. Uh, I don't even know who you are, lady. You don't know, and you don't know, but that's fine. Goodbye. Take care and random rules. Yeah, yeah, random rules. Except no, it freaking doesn't. Thanks for nothing, Elizabeth. All you've given me is... Hey, you know what? Never mind. Thank you for the money, Elizabeth. <laughs> well, I guess we should be moving on with, huh? Next time in Lost in Random, we go in here. Man, this entire thing has freaked me out. <laughs>